Yo, what up, you guys? Magic IQ here, and today, man, I am bringing you guys this beautiful Subi build, man. This thing is an absolute beast. It is killer on blue collar. This thing got a 202, and I completely butchered the last corner. It definitely, in the right hands, can get a solid flat two minute time, probably, or a 201. Um, I did pretty decent that run, but there's a few areas where you could definitely pick up. A half a second at least so i hope you guys enjoy this build video man there are other motors that are very very good in this thing and i'm gonna briefly go over those as well before we get into the candidate that i think is the best in this car but i just want to let you guys know there are a few ways to run this car and trust me the power numbers they don't lie but that's not the overall deciding factor as you'll see the motor with the best performance is actually not the most powerful motor and the motor with the second best performance is actually the least powerful motor so i hope you guys enjoy let's get straight into this build man so as you guys can see here going into style first off we're going to talk about the body kits now now on this car i run the um tex wide body kit on this car i'm using this over fender for the front and this over fender for the rear that's all you guys really need to copy the rest of the body kit is up to you now for the ride stance this actually does matter the height of the car i believe matters the most here if you go all the way to the left it feels the most planted but when you get on getting high tonight it can get a little bouncy so if you're finding that a little bit uncontrollable then what you can do here is actually two clicks to the right and that'll make getting high tonight a little bit more tolerable with the uh, bounciness of the vehicle because oh my goodness it can get a little loose but as long as you tame it i personally think the car slammed performs amazingly so, so first things first man the motors let's talk about it my favorite motor is the 444 brake horsepower three liter flat six this thing is the fastest car what you saw on the 202 time i was able to accomplish though a 20440 with this 3.8 liter v8 and a 2047 with this three liter inline six the three liter motor is consistent in that 205 204 space high 204 space whereas the v8 is consistent in that low 204 space to mid to high 204 space but the three liter flat six will get you those times of 202 and 203 that's pushing the car pretty relatively similar each run as hard as you can with the rng of the burst nas you never know um but the times averaged out to around that i would say the three liter flat six averages a 203 v8 getting a 204 and the three liter inline six getting a high 204 so those are all the motors though as you see though the power numbers are completely different we got almost a one-to-one -one power ratio here with 757 and 756 whereas the three liter flat six has 757 and lower torque and this v8 has lower power and lower torque but it's the second fastest that's because we add a bottle of nitrous onto that build if you guys want those builds separately as well as they are just as good as the flat six because they might be a little bit more consistent on getting high tonight i will add those screenshots of those right here You guys can take a second to copy those, but let's go over the three liter inline six, the main engine of this build. As you guys can see, we got a super induction here, an elite ECU, an elite fueling system, an elite exhaust, an elite screw supercharger, a sport bottle of nitrous, an elite road suspension. The chassis and the drivetrain and the auxiliaries are the same across all motors. So if you guys wanna test that, you don't have to change any of those settings as well as you don't have to change the handling settings either as you guys see we have pro brakes here elite grip tires a sport clutch a five-speed gearbox and an elite differential with the auxiliaries of nitrous grip and nitrous near miss and as you guys saw in the gameplay that nitrous near miss really did help me farm those you know desync traffic uh for that burst nos that was super clutch at a couple areas there but as we get into the handling tuning you guys will see this is a grip build we got 100 percent grip here the steering sensitivity is right in the middle and the downforce is all the way high shout out to the homie q who helped me test this car by the way so as you guys can see here though the trash control is off for the grip build as well as brake entry is the drift I hope you guys enjoy this grip build, man. This thing is an absolute beast and it is very underrated. I don't see it out there much because you do have to get a lot of races done with a regular Subaru. Now, I obviously just used my most recent A-Class Ken Block Tribute Subaru to unlock this car. 
I love that build as well, man. It's a very diverse and different build, but can still compete with those meta cars in the A class. So if you guys haven't checked that out, check that out. The video will be down below in the description and in the pinned comment. I really appreciate you guys, man. Peace.